Hey, this is Ro and welcome to this tutorial. I'm so excited to share this with you today. It is a one sheet wonder, so it only takes one sheet to make this. Um, double sided is definitely preferred, but you could work around it with single sided and then just throw your own paper on there. Um, but really cute, it's lightweight and it's a lot of fun. We've got some interaction here, some pockets, so really cute. Um, so let me just show you real quick and then we'll go right into the tutorial. So I did a ribbon closure and I did a little eyelet and of course you know you can put shapes here like hearts or you know a velcro dot if you want although I would I think you're better off putting a hole um, and wrapping it around just because there's not a lot of space there but really you could do whatever you want so it opens like this and we have I put a something from my stash here these papers are from Samantha Rose collection uh, but I also use some uh, Willow and Sage and some Lovely Moments ephemera as well. So it opens like this and then it also flips down like this. And you have a pocket up here where you can add fun stuff in there. So I just put some ephemera and a little journaling card and a little tag. And so, and then I got the the lady chilling in the hammock here was so cute. Um, and so here's where the fun begins, my favorite part of this. So this opens up, we've got two flaps here. And when you open this up, it reveals whatever you want to put there. And then this part slides out. So you could put some journaling there, some photos, secret messages, what have you, really cute. Um, like I said, great for Happy Mail or Snail Mail, stuff like that. So adorable. So I'm going to show you how to make this using just one sheet of paper. So you can pull it all the way out, although, um, you know, it's just really cute to just kind of go in a little bit, like out to right there and then go back in. And then this side stays uh, planted where it is. So we have the fun of, you know, this interactivity. So really cute. Like I said, we have a pocket here, um, but when we get to this part, if you don't want to have the pocket here, because like I'll show you right here, um, this part kind of stays open. When we glue this flap, it keeps this closed and you know secure, but this part's kind of open. So I'll give you some tips on how to, you know, if you don't like it open, you can put like some washi tape here, um, or you can just close it all together and not have the extra pocket and just glue these two sides and then just have your pocket here. So it's really up to you, but I, it doesn't bother me to have the little opening right here. I did do another one with washi tape and it was cute as well, but it's totally up to you because the washi tape might hold this thing from sliding. So I like it like this. It's fun, um, interactive, and just way too cute. So let's go ahead and make this. And then with your panels, you could do other fun stuff. Like you could put you know, heart shape or butterflies here and close the panels. You can also come off of it more. Really up to you. You could adjust the measurements to come in further. So, but I'm gonna show you how to make the base of this one and then you'll be ready to decorate. And so this is the back, so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. Um, keep in mind with the measurements, you're gonna wanna be really, really um, uh, detailed with your scoring and uh, your burnishing just because for that flap side thing to pull out, you wanna be really on point with that. That was the only thing that I noticed in making my prototype. All right, so we have our one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut one six by eight. Put it down here so you could see. So I'm gonna do eight by six and do my eight first. And then put this one to the side because we're gonna use that. We're gonna use this whole sheet um, not much is going to be wasted, but so cool that we could do everything with just one 12 by 12. All right, so here's my six. All right, so we have our six by eight here, and then we're going to turn it to the eight inch side. And we're going to go ahead and score this at two, two and a half, and six. So two, two and a half, and six. Okay, and we're gonna put that aside. We have about four sheets to cut and score and then we'll be ready to put it together. So we might as well just go ahead and 
knock out um, our cutting and stuff right now. So our next piece is five and three fourths by eight. So we just take this one that we just put aside and I put it to the eight. It's already cut at eight. Then we're just gonna move it over and we're gonna cut five and three fourths. So just a little bit of this is gonna come off. We don't need that. And then we're going to score it at three and six on the eight inch side. So, so at three and at six. All right, and we'll go ahead and put that aside. And then our next piece, we want two and seven eighths by seven. So we're taking that last long flap that we have left and Let's first get our eight side in. No, seven side, I'm sorry, seven. Two and seven eighths by seven. So let me go down here to seven, cut that. So again, that's seven and then two and seven eighths. Almost to three, but not exactly because we're gonna need a little bit of space to get into that uh, side panel area. And this is gonna be our slider. And then we're going to turn this on the seventh inch side and we are going to score that at two. And we are almost done with our scoring. So at two, okay? And actually I kind of press a little bit too hard. Try not to press too hard. We want it to still have some strength to um, make our little envelope so we don't want it to uh, cut our paper. All right, and our last piece we have we need two and a half by two and seven eight. I thought that was so perfect how I'd used really one sheet with very little waste. So let's go to two and seven eighths right here. And then we're gonna turn it and score at two and a half right here. I'm sorry, cut at two and a half. Then we're gonna do one quick score on this. We're gonna score it half an inch on the two and a half inch side. So we're already there, so we're gonna score half an inch. Okay, and that's it. So now let's go ahead and assemble our envelope interactive thing. I don't even really know what to call it yet, but I'm sure by the time you see this video, it'll have a name. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. Let's go ahead and grab our pieces and put it together. So let's do some burnishing really quick. And this is our slider piece and you want to decide what you want facing you what you want the flap to look like so i want this to be my flap so i'm going to burnish it right there because i want to see this and same thing here so then it'll look like that all right and then our next sheet this is the little pocket for the slider so i actually probably should have scored this on the other side but that's okay Okay, so this is going to be our back pocket. So we are going to leave this little part out. Okay, so we wanna fold in the big part in here and then let this part fold over like this. Okay, and then let's go ahead and fold our little clutch. So then it'll look like that when it closes. So this is a good time if you want to, to go ahead and round your corners. So let me wrap that if you want to. I'm gonna round all four, but personal preference, totally up to you. Okay, so we'll put this to the side for now. Or actually, no, we're not gonna put that to the side. We're gonna keep this so we can start assembling. All right, um, so like I said, this is gonna be our back flap right here. And so if you are gonna keep this as a pocket and not close it all together, and then just glue these two sides, let me show you. So here's our options. I like having the flap there. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this so that I can 
have that little, so it looks like a pocket, easy to pull stuff out. Um, or you can just glue this onto the back, you can glue it all together, okay? And then just put glue here and here. First glue this part and then glue here and here. Um, and then you could just make it a full back pocket if you don't want the little flap action going on, okay? So I like the little flap, so I'm gonna do it that way. So let me go ahead and do the little punch here. I just normally eyeball it. All right, and so if you do want the pocket like I'm doing, all you need to do is put glue here and right here. So let me go ahead and do that. And just a really thin line. And it helps to use a little bit of a sturdier cardstock, not too flimsy, which most of them are. I've done like three of these and um, they all worked out fine, so. All right, and so when we glue it, we wanna glue it above this fold line here, right? Because we wanna be able to close it. So just make sure you're above there, um, but as close to it as possible because we want a little room to put fun stuff in our pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then you wanna also, you know, make sure you center it on each side. Okay, we've got that going. So now we have our little flap, okay? And then we take our other slider piece right here, so easy to do and so quick and fun. And this slides right on in right here. So we have our door right here. And then you can also round the corners if you want to, it's totally up to you. And then with this side, we're gonna glue this piece in. You can also use tape, personal preference but then it'll look like that, voila, so cute. All right, so let me go ahead and put glue. I wanna put glue for sure on this side because I want it to hold this part closed, okay? And But you can glue both sides. So obviously you wanna be careful here because we're gonna glue and then just stick this sucker right on in. I'm just gonna do both sides, okay? And let's throw this on in here before it dries on me. Okay, there we go. I just wanna make sure while I have a little bit of wiggle room, and that's why I like to use glue because it gives me a chance to line it up. Yep, it's lined up. Okay, so that's gonna glue there. So now that's gonna hold that side closed. This is open just a little bit, doesn't bother me. So like I said, if not, you have the other options that I gave you earlier. All right, and so that is it, how cute. And so then you can go ahead and hole punch each side here and do the ribbon, or you can use them little foam dots and close it that way. So it's totally up to you. You can also put something else here in the middle if you wanted to be more creative and you know just do whatever floats your boat. It's really up to you. But I did wanna show you how to do the construction of this because again, one page, it's still super, still super light. Um, great for flat mail, snail mail, just so cute. Look at that, how it came out. And then here, you just wanna, if you wanna measure it, that's fine, or you can eyeball it right in the middle and punch a hole, go a little bit up, you know, so that it doesn't tear. And you don't have to use an eyelet um, if you don't have any. But look how that came out, that is so cute. And I'm gonna have these available in my shop, so if you wanna grab the ones that I made. This one, I'm not sure um, how soon I'll get up or if I will, but this one, I'm definitely, since it's already finished and time is of the essence, I'll go ahead, I will have this one in my shop if someone wanted to acquire it. But other than that, just have a lot of fun with this and I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, visit my new shop, brand spanking new. So I'm excited because um, I'm new on this crafting journey, but I'm just having a blast so far. So appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and have an awesome day.